Big 12 softball on ESPN. A perfect day in Oklahoma City, giving way to what should be a magical night conditions-wise. Iowa State and Texas Tech getting set to tangle in game two of the Big 12 softball championship from the softball capital of the world. It's big time and trying to get those ground outs. Ochoa smacks the shortstop. Crowd was on stick, center fielder. And of course, Maddie right in the circle. Allen lines it, and a nice play is made over at short. Once again, Oric in the mix. All right. Coming from right. Overpowered. Three up, three down for the Red Raiders. First strikeout of the evening for right. Bottom of the first coming up. Red Raiders coming to hit. Laces that one into right center field, but coming over to make an amazing catch is Poole. Just so much growth this season, but just being able to work through adjustments, she's done such an incredible job. Covering some ground is Ochoa to end the inning. Top of the second coming up, no score from Oklahoma City. The Big 12. Two taps to home plate. Working out for her, laying out is Via. Ball goes to the wall. Coming around the score is Miner. Racing into third base and sliding safely is Spellhawk. I mean, Spellhawk on time with this pitch down and in. Just pulls it, ropes it. Uh, and Villa, you know, making that diving catch, trying to make that diving catch out in left field. But on that case, you want to try to keep that ball in front of you. Flair. Jennings gloves it. Yeah, you're the senior from Whitlock, California. Lofts it into center field. Coming on to make the play as Elder. Play at the plate. Safe. Spellhawk slides across for the sack fly. Just perfect thing to do is just make sure you slide straight into home plate. The Cyclones, number 33, designated player, Paige. Taking the Cyclones up to nothing. Paige Nakashima is the batter. Two outs, two nothing, Iowa State. Oh. Another Cyclone starter from the great state of Hawaii. Popped up. We're out of the inning, but not before the damage is done. Two runs for Iowa State. All Big 12 named earlier this afternoon. High heat coming. Sherman is rolling. First strikeout of the afternoon after a flawless first inning. For the second. Another piece of protective equipment hit, and another hit by pitch. This time, Texas Tech takes a walk. He preaches that. Right, and your approach is probably the most important thing when you're talking about hitting. Miner down to second. But having a plan. A phenomenal freshman this season for Texas Tech. Jennings will take first base, two aboard, with two out in the bottom of the second. If Sherman has trouble with Kreitz. Kennedy Kreitz, bouncing ball to second base. Stepping on the bag for the do-it-yourself is Wardlow. And the threat is ended. Top of the third coming up. Cyclones dodge a bullet, up to nothing. Maddie Wright, offering to Wardlow. And Oric makes quick work of it. Now 
This is just a quick release from Warwick, and that's an incredible play right here. Texas, but who hasn't come off a rough weekend against the Longhorns <laughs> right. this season? Ranked number one in the RPI. Ochoa draws the walk, and there's a one out. Is a testament to her hard work and putting in the work in the offseason. Working it this afternoon. Coming around to score for the third run of the game is Ochoa. Three to nothing, Iowa State. Branches pops it up, coming over to make the play, and a nice one is Jennings. Two outs. A little bit earlier, but she's a great example for her teammates. As Miner flies into left field and flying in to make the play is Via ending the threat, stranding a runner on second base. Cyclones up three to nothing. Logan Halliman lays down the bunt, but Miner scoops it right up and guns her down. San Antonio native spanks it to Rancis, who guns her down. Popped up, Miner grabs it. Some nice defense by Iowa State has kept Texas Tech. In Texas Tech, I would try to set her up on outside pitches, knowing that she is a hard puller. Beats it to shortstop, Oric. Another nice play at shortstop. Wright has surrendered just two hits. Could possibly be three. It is. Jennings did all she could do, but Poole beat the throw. Hits it into dead center field. Elder doesn't have to move. Puts it away, and Poole stays put at first base. Lined into right field. Falls in front of Hellman. Runners on first and second with two out. Can ill afford any runs here. Maybe up a little too close was Oric. Ball gets past her. Elder is there, but the bases are loaded. For Ochoa, 2-2 two -two pitch. Smacked into the gap. That could go all the way to the wall. It does. One run scores, two run scores, bases are cleared. Malaysia Ochoa comes through again. And so smooth and calm. I mean, this entire at bat, she was behind in the count. And still able to see the ball deep. And like I said, going left center, not doing too much. It's a great hit. That's basically exactly what you said. I said left center. It was like perfect. I was like, okay, we're in sync. Here we go. <laughs> it's perfect. Last pitch, you feel like she'd want to unleash on it, but just seeing a lot of pitches. Allen walks and heads and grounded out. Inside. Runners try to advance. Kreitz launches it into left field. But luckily for her, Via is right there coming on to save the day. Heads up from Via being right there. Coming on to make a big time play is Halliman. But some serious damage done in the fourth inning. Cyclones tackle on three more. Is this? No, no, no. That that is authentic. Pure genuine. Another hits batsman for Sherman. Second of the game. I guess the best comeback you were ever a part of. Best comeback. Poole is there, tried to double up Love and couldn't get there in time, but another nice play. 
was against a Big 12 team, <laughs> against Texas. And you know, you try to calm yourself down and, and try to keep it simple and keep it as a normal game, but it's hard. Nothing simple about that. Allen comes over, covers a lot of ground, and takes care of business, two down. Drives it into center field. Coming on to make the play is Ochoa. Bounces out of her glove. And with two outs, Texas Tech and Riley Love with that in the distance. Gearing up and ready to go down at second base. Will she get the opportunity? Yes, she will. Lace down the left field line, stays fair. Love comes in to score. Jennings with the RBI double. Texas Tech. Right back up the middle through the wickets. One run scores. Here comes the play at the plate. Safe! Jennings slides safely across home plate. And the lead is cut in half. Ball hit right back up the middle. An incredible base running by Jennings. How about that slide? You teach America's youth how to play softball. You can't teach it much you better can't than teach that. that. Yeah, I mean, that's incredible insights right there and instincts of just doing a little slide by. Carly Charles banged up, did not make the start, obviously. Miner tried to grab it over her shoulder. Ranch is coming on, couldn't make the play either. It falls in the absolute perfect spot if you're a Texas Tech fan. And the Beacons for Texas Tech this inning. Opposite field, will it fall? It won't! Amazing play by Ranches. Flashes the glove and the million dollar smile. Oklahoma City. Pete Souza and the gold medal winner, Natasha Watley. Bouncing ball. Jennings fields it, completes the play. in those situations. Spellhawk with an RBI triple. Back on base. She is ripping the ball. And Tiana Poole right back up the middle. Keel stops it and throws her out. Down the line, Love gloves it. Gets away from her, and everybody's safe. Holes can move. Runners are at the corners. Nakashima lofts it, and Halliman is there. So Texas Tech averts disaster. Runner stranded for uh, <laughs> Kelly Wyckoff. Third hit batter for four home runs. She's got 13 this year. Miner juggles it. Can she recover? She does. Wyckoff advances to second. Sophomore delivers. Minor reaches out and snares it. The elder with the runner in scoring position. Pokes it down the line. Drops in. Coming around to score is Wyckoff. The lead is trimmed to two. Texas Tech not going anywhere. Demi Elder coming up big here. Taking this low outside drop. Keeping those hands inside and just a little poke, a little seeing eyeball, picking up an RBI on the day. And they've had a couple of wins coming from behind. Barnhart lifts it into left field. Turned around is Allen. An amazing play. A little bit of a pirouette in left field. Look, that's the whole point. Wardlow races down to first base after getting a free pass from Keel. First walk of the evening for Matty Keel. 
Driven into deep center field. Back goes Elder to the wall. Gone. Malaysia Ochoa goes deep. And the lead is extended to eight to four. Slicing towards the gap, laying out his elder, can't get it. Rounding second is Allen. She'll stop there for her 22nd double of the season. To a date tomorrow with Kansas. Keel fields it cleanly, but throws it away. Coming around to score is Allen, and safe at first base is Ranches. Defense square in the bunt here. Reading the defense, seeing how far they are back, and knows that she has ample amount of time to get this ball down. And makes Olivia Reigns have to rush. Ben Moore dropouts. She'll mix in her change as well. Driven into left field. That is sky high, towering. Via camps out underneath it. One down. Branches down at first. Another sweet stroke. Oric waves off Fia and squeezes it. Two down. Check swing for Reigns, off and running as Ranches, sliding in safe. Hit and run ish. <laughs> Hit and run ish. <laughs> and the gold medal winner. Natasha Wadley from OGE Energy Field at Devon Park. <laughs> Big 12 softball tournament underway as we see Poole to business. Poole at first, Ranches at second. Ball four. Bases loaded again for Iowa State. Turns out many an elite softball player. So not short on ability. Reaches up and grabs it and is out of the inning. Iowa State leaves four on board. Attacks on three. Big pitch. Strike three. She has been on a tear of late. Began the season hitting 185 as we entered March. And she pops that one up. Drifting in is Poole. And heading to second base is Kreitz. Halliman just nailed. You can hear the crowd. Holy look. Yeah, and this is just right at our head. And those ones are just so hard to get out the way. Squaring to bunt. Want to be able to put some hits together. Via lines it. Stutter step by Ochoa. Comes in and puts it away. season. Hit by a pitch and scored a run. Nice piece of hitting down the line. It goes. Is it fair? It is a three-run shot and a shot in the arm for Texas Tech. Courtesy of Kaylee Wyckoff. I mean, just her ability to stay within herself and 
she just seems to continue to get better. I mean, even after last year being the freshman Big 12 player of the year, but she just crushes this pitch, turns on it, and it's her ability to know where she's getting pitched and what she's hunting and just being uber aggressive on what she's going for. And she goes for this one. Coach Snyder told us she has a simple swing, smooth and solid. Solid contact there. And the lead is trimmed to two, nine to seven. Riley Love, towering pop-up. Miner does a nice job of calling her teammates off and puts it away. But three runs on two hits. Base when it dies. And it forms a tumbleweed as we come on and see Oric make the first out. So that tumbleweed, as it blows around, disperses its seeds as the wind rolls. Reigns to Ochoa, who lifts it into left field. Via had a beat on it and puts it away. <laughs> Heck of a pitch right there. <laughs> Dribbler to second base, Jennings fields it and guns are down. We head to the bottom of the seventh, last chance coming up for Texas Tech. Folks around college softball would say that a loss won't kill them, but it can help. Tiana Poole watches that one go over the wall. Abby York says, loss, what are you talking about? And the lead is won. And the Red Raiders are stoked. And that is a huge moment. You'd love to see it when your backs are against the wall. What are you going to do? Nork responds big here. This is a big hit over right field. And all of a sudden, some smiles on the faces in the Texas Tech dugout. Elder skies it. Camped out underneath it is Ranches. One down. Yeah, I'm like, okay, now, yeah, maybe she might have went, but. Oh, look at this. Barnhart takes advantage of the opportunity. Touch them all, Aubrey. We are tied. Seventh home run of the season. Yeah, and Barnhart wishing that she got that pitch before. This pitch is just a little elevated. And Barnhart doing a good job of getting this ball out in front and turning on it. You want to talk about barreling up. Look at this. And the celebration. <laughs> you got to love it. A brand new ball game. Jennings, all 12 freshman team. Big cut, big miss. Christ, back up the middle. Runner aboard with two outs. And you could just see Kreitz that whole entire at bat just talking to herself, just trying to slow things down, just trying to take control of the situation and applying some pressure. 0-2 pitch coming from Austin. Back up the middle. Ralston grabs it, flips it over to first base, and we are headed to extra innings. Two runs in the bottom of the ninth. We are. 1 0 pitch to Ranches. Drills it, but Oric is there and puts it away. Since then, has settled in and attacking the zone early in the count. Just out of the reach of the outstretched Jennings. Miners on base. A one out base runner in the tingle. And if you're just joining us, Spellhog has been hitting the ball well. Fly ball. Coming on to make the play is Holloman. Two down. Locked at nine. Extra innings. Top of the eighth. Ball four.
Popped up. Coming over is Barnhart. Puts it away. We head to the bottom of the eighth. Cyclones lead two. I just, I love that. Slapped into left field, down the line. Coming over to make the play is Allen. She can do it with her bat, and there she does it with her feet and her glove. That was Charles' first ball on her 10th pitch. She has been aggressive and accurate. And Wyckoff is both right there. Gone! Kaylee Wyckoff sends Iowa State packing and Texas Tech to the second round. Just amazing. I mean, you could feel her that whole entire at bat. I mean, she was just on it. What an incredible moment. Wyckoff is mobbed at home plate. Late night here in Oklahoma City. We're just getting started oh, here yeah. in the Big 12 tournament to tie it up in the seventh and a solo shot right there to win the game in the eighth. And let's not forget to mention about the Cyclones. What an incredible game. I mean, just putting up a fight until the end. And what an incredible performance by both teams tonight. It's now time to announce our Gatorade player of the game. Texas Tech coming into this game 39th in the RPI. A bubble team. I look down on your, your fact sheet right here. You have written one more look. Just a beautiful swing by Wyckoff and that whole entire at bat, you could feel her just trying to get on time. At 1.30, Kansas will take on Oklahoma Sooners. At 5 p.m., Texas Tech will take on the Texas Longhorns. And oh, by the way, hats off to Carly Charles. Coming into the game, banged up, gutting through, a gutty performance. She had been really pitching so well.